So here's a little bit of back history on how I came up with this assignment. Years ago when Pinterest was first kind of created as a social media platform, um, I did not like it at all because I would have students that would come to me with this brilliant idea. Oh, I found this on Pinterest and I really, really want to make this. And so therefore they would try to recreate it exactly as they would see it. And they could never get it exactly how they saw it on the original image. And then they would get frustrated and very disappointed. So then I thought, you know what, I'm going to embrace this. How about we use it as a challenge to push your creativity to make it your style of artwork, okay? So from all that, I actually created the course called Pinterest Art, and that's kind of how that all came about. So on Pinterest, this was the original image, all right? And so I kind of like hold that whole grid thing, and that will also help us... Um, control our watercolor as we paint it down. All right, so this was my version, okay? And I just, I love bright, bold colors. That does not mean that yours has to end up being that way, okay? I love fall and autumn, and so like, that's kind of why I painted the trees that way um, with those nice, warm, vibrant colors. And then you can see in the dark sky, I actually wanted that to appear like it's nighttime. And so in the background, I used that salt technique in every little one of those background squares. And right there, that really bright part right there, I actually didn't even put any paint there. I allowed that paper to just come through. So I used salt in the background, and you'll be using salt on your painting somewhere too, okay? So this is another student's version, and they're kind of heart-shaped trees, and you can tell there's totally different style. I like bright, bold, intense colors. She liked pastel colors, and who would have thought making tree trunks purple? But she did, and it looked amazing, okay? She used the salt in the background. Okay, so here's how you're going to go about doing that and figuring out your um, idea, okay? So you're going to take your grid paper, scoot that over so you can see. You're going to take your grid paper and you're going to place your piece of tracing paper on top of there. Now, this perforated stuff, you could actually carefully tear that off. But your paper should be big enough to fit inside that 17 inch square now that we have inside there, okay? Then from there, you're going to draw your image, okay? Making sure to also like include a ground line, okay? Something to anchor the trees. Now, what I also want to talk about is the element of design that we're really going to key in on for this assignment is variety. So think variety of tree styles, variety of shapes, variety of colors, um, maybe overlapping off the edge of the paper. Okay, so this was mine. All right. And I'm going to show you some others that students came up with, like this one here is very scrolled and detailed, three trees. I like how it kind of goes off the top and off the edge and the side that way. And I like these little extra little circles in there too. That's kind of a nice little change. This one is kind of cool. The student wanted to create kind of like a burning, the burning bush, the burning trees. This is kind of a fun shape of trees. Again, nice variety of sizes. Something's cropped off the edge. There are different heights. There are different spacing in between. Okay, this one you just merely see a tree trunk. And I also like the fact that there's, I don't know whether it's the sun or is it the moon, but it's also the same shape as the trees. 
So you could create some unity that way by having that your trees all be very, very similar, but yet slight differences. Your painting could also be vertical, okay? So it could be vertical up and down. That's how this one was created. Really tall, strong tree trunks on that one. This one was pretty cool too. All right, just two trees in that one, but I like how this kind of cropped off on that side and it's kind of this really cool bubbly type shape. Nice rolling hills there. And I guess that's, let's see, here. Nope, I already showed you that one. Okay, so I've kind of given you enough information there and go ahead and kind of draw up your idea and the next video will be about transferring your image onto your watercolor paper.